Andy Murray and Francis Tiafo just concluded their match at the European Open, a first round match. And was this the match of the years? Three hours and 45 minutes in a three set thriller. All three sets went to a tie break. 7 6, 6 7, 7 6. Andy Murray wins this first round match against Francis Tiafo. Tie break on all three sets is just ridiculous. Incredible tennis by both people. And the Andy Murray comeback train just keeps on going. Andy Murray, I predicted, is going to be a top 20 player in 2022. And this gives me a lot of hope to be able to go the distance against Francis Tiafo, you know, one of the fittest players on tour, and just put on a show for people that were watching the European Open on TV and in person. It was just an exciting, exciting, exhilarating electric match. Shout out to Francis Tiafo. He's one of my favorite players. He's a showman. He's fun. He, he he reacts to a lot of shots. I like that. I like. I don't really like players that are robotic that don't show emotion. I I get it that in tennis that's a lot of people. You're supposed to be you know professional or whatever professional means. You're supposed to be you know suit and tie almost with every point. You can't really celebrate too much because whatever. I like Francis Yaffo being a little silly, doing dances, celebrating with the fans, staring at them, all that stuff that he does. That's caused me to be a fan of Francis Tiafo. So I like how he showed respect to Murray, went over to the other side of the net, gave him a hug. You know, they exchanged some words because they put up one of the best matches of the year, probably the best 250 match this year. Um, and it's up there for any other, like even just overall match of the year. And it's crazy because it's, it's the first round of a 250 uh, tournament. So you wouldn't expect this, but Murray has a wild card. Tiafo, you know, his rankings has been slipping. So it was just incredible, incredible. That third set tie break was the perfect culmination to the match. Each player fighting off match points with aces, with their serves. Um, each player fighting off match points. Just coming back. Okay, Murray has match point. Boom, boom. Tiafo hits two aces. All right, Tiafo at match point. Murray comes back. Another another ace, another beautiful serve. It was just exciting. It was exhilarating. It was oh my god, catching catching that game was amazing. I don't know if we're gonna see another match like that in the European Open, but I just wanted to give them their flowers. Congratulations to both players. And uh, like I said, Tiafo is one of my favorite players. I like that he's a showman, but he needs to get his rankings up, man. I think he has he has quality tennis in him, as evident. He he upset. Rublev at the U.S. Open. I think he has, you know, he's one of the most talented U.S. players on tour, in my opinion. He's just not there yet consistently. He's not there mentally. He's a good showman. He's good for TV. But I want Tiafo to start doing a little better. He needs to get his rankings up. But today was just Andy Murray's day. And it, like I said, it gives me it gives me hope for Andy Murray. Like Matches like this where he goes three hours and 45 minutes, three, three tiebreakers against... Tiafo, who on his day is a really challenging opponent. Man, Andy Murray come back, train, hop on it because it's coming. It's coming. I'm telling you. Top 20 player in 2022. His rankings just plummeted. His uh Murray's rankings just plummeted because uh he lost points from the Indian Indian Wells tournament. So he's, he he kind of slipped a little bit further, but I still believe that he could get his ranking up. Andy Murray is gonna be a top 20 player in 2022. I've said it before, I've said it now. What a match. Andy Murray versus Francis Tiafo. If you ha if you didn't get a chance to catch it, make sure to look up the highlights on YouTube or somewhere else because this match was incredible. Three tie breaks, tie break in every set, and just incredible stuff. Amazing, amazing stuff. Shout out to Tiafo. Shout out to Andy Murray for just providing us electric, entertaining tennis. It's amazing. I love tennis. Uh, I, ca I can't wait to see the rest of the European Open. I can't wait to see Andy Murray Climb up the rankings because I believe he will. And hopefully for Francis Tiafo, he gets it together because I, I have a lot of hope for this guy. I think he could move up rankings too. So just thankful for both of them for putting up a, a ridiculous, entertaining match. And that should do it for this episode of the Hard to Handle Sports Podcast. If you listened all the way to the end, hour 30 minutes or however long it was, hour and one minute. Thank you so much for staying to the end. Have a great rest of your day. Make sure to watch some NBA basketball. It is back. <laughs>